Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button down below to subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep abreast of all future content I'll be creating in the future. Thank you very much. Hello everyone, my name is Rahul Nirmal. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can view your Microsoft Office Word, Excel, and PowerPoint documents right on your Apple iPad for free. Apple has their own productivity applications on the iPad, which are very similar to Microsoft Office and can open those Office documents. But they do have different names and branding. For example, Apple's version of Microsoft Word is called Pages. Their version of Excel is called Numbers, and their version of PowerPoint is called Keynote. So with those three applications, you can view your Excel, Word, and PowerPoint documents. So what we'll do is, we, I have three example documents on my Windows 10 PC. We'll use Apple iTunes to transfer them over to the Apple iPad, and then I'll show you how you can view them. So, without further ado, let's go over to my Windows 10 PC and get started. All right, I'm in front of my Windows 10 desktop, and I'm gonna go over to File Explorer into the Downloads folder, where I have three files, a PowerPoint presentation, an Excel worksheet, and a Word document. I'm gonna open up all three of these files on my PC to show you what they look like before we transfer them to the iPad. First, let's begin by opening up the PowerPoint presentation. And you'll see that it has four slides. And next, I'm gonna to go to the Excel worksheet, which comes with four tabs. And then finally, We'll go over to the Word document, and we'll see that it's a multi-page Word document. So now let's go over to Apple iTunes and move these files over to the iPad. Okay, now I have Apple iTunes opened up, and I've already connected the iPad to my PC, and iTunes is detecting it. So we're going to start by going to the top left corner and clicking on this rectangle which represents the iPad. And here we can see a summary of all the basic information about it. Let's go down here to file sharing. And then here, let's go to the Keynote app, which is Apple's version of PowerPoint. And let's add that PowerPoint file. Let's go to add file. And that PowerPoint file is located in the downloads folder. Let's scroll down a little bit. And here it is, simply called PowerPoint presentation. It's there. And let's do the same with numbers, which is Apple's version of Excel. Add that Excel file called Excel worksheet. And then finally to Pages, which is Apple's version of Microsoft Word, go to Add File and add that Word document. Now that all three are here, let's go and hit the Sync button to transfer them to the iPad. And the sync process finished in just a few seconds. We'll click on Done. And now let's head over to the iPad and see what happened. All right, I'm in front of my Apple iPad at the home screen and I'm gonna open up the Files app by selecting the blue folder at the bottom. It's already gone to On My iPad for locations. And let's begin by going to Keynote where my PowerPoint presentation should be. And here it is, and I'll select it to open up the Keynote app. And I get a warning that the presentation may look different in Apple's Keynote app. And I'll acknowledge that and hit Done. And here's the PowerPoint presentation with the four slides and it looks exactly as it did on my PC, running Microsoft's PowerPoint. Next, let's open up that Excel worksheet I had moved to the iPad by going to Numbers and opening up the Excel worksheet file. Again, I get a warning that the spreadsheet may look different in Apple's Numbers app, so acknowledge that. And here it is, and here are the four tabs as well. So it looks just like it did on Microsoft Excel on my Windows 10 PC. Lastly, I'm gonna open up that Microsoft Word document by going to Pages and opening up the Word document. And here we go. Here's the multi-page Word document looking just as it did using Microsoft Word on my Windows 10 PC. So it looks like all three documents can be displayed on the iPad just fine. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you like the content, please hit the like button down below. And also, please hit the subscribe button down below to subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep abreast of all future content I'll be creating in the future. 
Again, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.